Alright guys, today I'm going to be installing some Yak Power lights to my kayak. I'll be installing some 20 inch in the front, some 10 inch in the back, a few button lights throughout the cockpit, and of course... Uh Alright guys, so first step for, for getting your lights figured out where you're going to put them at guys is getting some masking tape. Um, you need about 23 inches, this is about roughly the length of the full um, 20 inch segment. So you usually get extra little extra length through with this and of course your end as well. So you measure out where you want your spots to be. Um, you have to drill a hole for this. And this will actually plug into this once this screws into your kayak. This makes a nice waterproof seal. Um, We'll go over that in a few minutes though, guys. Uh, so first up, guys, is figuring out where you want your lights to kind of lay out at. Um, I have mine about eight inches from the front of the nose, and it's about two inches down to the bottom of this tape. Uh, you can kind of play with it, that height if you want to as much as you like. Um, Yak Power recommends going at least one inch above the wire line. I left my kayak a little dirty so I can see the wire line on it. But the wire line's about right here, so I'm about three inches above the wire line, really. Um, which I like mine a little higher anyway because I want to have more of it shot out. So I'm actually using it more for sight casting and stuff at night so I can see a little better around objects, um, brush, docks if they don't have lights on them and stuff like that as well. So I have mine a little bit higher. Um, very easy install, guys. What you want to make sure you do before you do any kind of holes in your kayak is make sure you check behind where you're actually installing these holes at, what's back there. Make sure you actually get a good clean um, drill bit to go through there and not get damage anything else inside the kayak hole. Um, I've already checked we're good. Uh, it's just right there on the edge of that dip down too. So you also make sure how much gap you have between your your gunnel walls. You know, because some of them are, are pretty small. At least the Outback has nice gunnel walls. The PA, you have about two inches of, of wall space. So you can still get stuff up there a little higher if you want to. But it can be more of a tricky situation. Um, so you got to be careful of a few things when you're actually installing these, uh, these wires and you're screwing them into your kayak. Because um, you can see these have threads on them. So these will actually thread into your kayak. And when you're threading these in and spinning this, you also want to make sure you spin your wire too so it's not getting in a bind and wanting to, to kink up and, and possibly pull out on itself. So make sure you get enough space back in the back so it sits somewhat out so it's not getting damaged in the kayak hole. Um, so. And of course, for your light strips, guys, it does come with, like I said, the Allen wrench key already. So use this Allen wrench key right here, guys, to actually tighten your uh, your wires into the kayak. This fits right inside there, and this is how you spin the uh, fits right inside there, and it's how you spin it inside to twist it into the plastic. Um, actually, I go down one size, so it's actually 11. Uh, this is actually going to be a 31 to 60 fourths, and this is going to be a 11 30 seconds. So like I said, I go down one size and then drill bits just to make it more of a, of a snug fit. For So this is your uh, your jack that will actually plug into the S S E S A E connectors. Um, so this will go through your kayak. And of course, again, Allen wrench guys will actually use to screw it in. And uh, when you're screwing this in, again, guys, to make sure it's kind of going in straight, you want to go crooked like that because it could also mess up your kayak a little bit. But also, it won't be as watertight if it's not in there straight. There's a nice rubber gasket there to help give it a little more of a watertight bite. Um, and like I said, just kind of keep checking on that wire inside the kayak. I'm just using the flat end of this, guys, because I don't have a Phillips or a flathead behind me right here, guys. I'm just using this to kind of push around that, uh, that rubber gasket to make sure it's pretty much where I want it when I'm tightening this thing all the way down.
And guys, you gotta over tighten this. You want this to have a little bit of lip there because this, these ends, these lights have little caps on the kind of thing, kind of cap over that. guys so I got both sides done two as well in the back all I do is just plug in the lights probably that very last probably sometime tomorrow actually though um, next is going to be doing the button lights these have actually a little nut on the back now this nut is not needed for kayaks really because these are gonna be self tapping screw self tapping screw in lights as well too um, this you'll need a 5 8 wrench to allow you to actually tighten these in um, once again to you guys, these are a little more brutal I found for the back, so make sure this wire does not get twisted up when you're twisting it on. So go with that slowly, try and do that a little bit at a time. And also make sure you're going somewhere you get enough clearance in the back to allow this to actually to sit all the way through and not get in a bind. That probably just send you a nice drill bit for all of these. Um, but still, once again guys, I go down one size from this bit. I'm using 11 30 seconds instead of the one that comes in the jack power kits just because I want to get a little bit more of a tighter fit for these. Um, I've already installed two guys and what I did two guys since I'm installing them on two different kayaks not just mine uh, I made a little template so my left hand side for the front up there underneath the uh, the mounting plates and I also have one for the back back here by the uh, um, back of the seat. So I have a template here guys so left hand side is this one right hand side is for this one so I don't have to do any kind of measurements I want anymore, guys. I can just use this little template now, and all my lights are in the exact same spot every time. I know they're good. Um, now, we'll say the two front lights, guys, underneath the mounting plates, you have to kind of look and feel for your uh, your wires, for your skeg and your rudder, because they do run up there along the kayak up there in the front. So just kind of be careful where those are at, guys, and feel when you actually drill your holes into the kayak up there. Um, but very easy to install, guys. Just pretty much drill some holes, plug the stuff in, and... Uh, and screw it right in. Um, like I said, you do not need these little nuts that come with this. You can go ahead and toss these away, guys. These are more for like your aluminum boats or the things that don't have enough of bite to actually get these to fit on there good. Um, and of course, once again, guys, you do have one of these connectors for your plugs to plug into the back of that and it allows you to plug into one of these spots for the, uh, the lights for your actual switch. And if you need to, guys, you can buy an extra one of these allow you to hook up all your interior lights together. <clears throat> Alright guys, so this is the right hand side. Of course, right hand side looking from the nose, looking at the kayak. <laughs> um, which you can see right there, my front one right there. So I'm going to drill a hole right there. Be careful, there is the cords for your um, your cables for your skeg line that run right here. So you might have to reach your hand in there, guys. Re deploy your skeg first. Reach in there and just kind of get those cords and kind of pull them down a little bit so you're not going to end up damaging your cords when you actually drill this hole. Um, of course guys you always can save this too guys in case you're having any kind of damage to your kayak this match your color kayak guys so you can save this and remelt it Alright guys, one light done, just repeat the same thing for the left hand side over there and of course the two back ones, right and left on the back as well. Alright guys, now I'm going to do the back side too, I'm doing one here and one over there. Um, if you look right here, I have it written front and back and front right here. So I'm going to do the back side, which is this, will be closer to the seat. The reason I want it closer to the seat guys is so when I'm sitting in my seat, I don't have that light right here, kind of my eyes, catching my eye, catching the peripheral sometimes when I look left or right. So I'm going to look closer to my seat, so I'm actually going be kind of more towards my shoulders. And I look back, I look on the sides. But I'm going to drill a hole there. Of course, guys, you always can check to make sure nothing's inside the hole before you drill your hole back here.
In order to test it, guys, make sure it's going to be working for you. Light works. Now repeat and do it on the other side the exact same thing. This just time. Instead of doing the right, I will turn it over and do my left. Like I said, exact same spot, guys. So no measuring needed for this back area. Just a quick drill and screw in. All right, guys, so now I have both my um, wires for my green outside lights and my button lights that are right here behind the seat, both on left and right hand side installed. So now all you do is pretty much feed the left hand side wires, which is on this side, and right hand side wires both in the kayak all the way to the front there to actually turn my switch hole in the front. All right guys, as I mentioned, next thing is just to feed these wires through the hole. Um, I'm gonna actually use this to help hold my wires together so I don't lose one inside the, inside the kayak somewhere. Just slides on the plus, I don't wanna lose any of these little rubber gaskets that go in here too as well. They do kind of roll around a little bit if you're trying to move stuff around on them. So I just plug these in like this just to help keep the wires together as I slide through the hole. Um, I'm going to use a fiberglass rod, guys. I can do it with my arms if I want to as well, too, but to make it a little easier and less, less time consuming. Just had a line around the, the store here, so I'm just going to get this. You can either tape it to here or zip tie it, or um, I got some little twist ties. Let's make some twist ties on here just to help hold this in place. And of course, before you do this, guys, make sure your wires are not anywhere crisscrossed with your. Uh, your wires, or your wires not cross anywhere with the ropes that are inside here for you, either your skeg, your transducer, um, your rudder. All right guys, as you can see now, all my wires are inside my kayak in here now. I got, my button lights from the back on the right, on the left hand side. Put my button lights from the right hand side and my strip lights from the back. And of course the button lights up here under the front mounting plates as well as right here. And of course these are my front strip lights right here. Of course I already have the Yak Power um, 5 station hub right there. I will be changing out later on to an 8 station but for now I'll do 5 for at least for a few more trips until I get a chance to change out to the 8. But um, I'll try a few things pre-wired in here guys. Um, next, you just kind of clean up the wires in here, make it look a little more neat because it's just kind of a, of a cluster right now. But that's the, uh, that's the installs there, guys. I'll show you my final product of the uh, cleanup in a few seconds. All right, guys, so I did clean up the wires a little bit. I'm not going to do all the zip ties like I do on some of my other kayaks for uh, cleaning up on just GX. I'm going to end up changing this out to an 8. But uh, you can see the wires are nice cleaned up. I did some sleeves in here, keep my wires together color coordinated too so my green lights are these blue lights are these um, but this one cleaned up the uh, install a lot of course still have a wire here just kind of laying around but like I said I'll clean up all these wires eventually when I change out this to the 8 station uh, switch so next all I gotta do guys really the final touch is to add my green lights and just plug them in and, and uh, tape them on and allow my last screw right here at the back of it just to help hold in place. All right, guys. So, final step, brothers, guys. Figure out where you want this light to lay at exactly. You can either um, get you a level and try to make it straight, eyeball it if you want to, or you can actually measure it from the line right here if you want to make it nice and straight. There it comes with some screws. You have some screws in your packaging. So just kind of dry fit it on there, guys. Figure out where you want to lay at. You take the tape measure and measure from the light itself, guys, not from this because this is actually being nice and level. You can see I am about two inches right there, so two inches then right there. So, right there, guys, is my straight line. So, now I got my, my pretty much my straight shot. Kind of just hold it there in place where you want that. Take your screw push it through the hole in the back just to make you an indention so you know where you're going at and then take your drill and actually drill your hole. Get your drill and start your screw first guys, get it started and back out a little bit. Now before you actually insert this all the way guys, make sure you do take your dielectric grease and just put it on the metal end a little bit. Nice 
a little coating of that on there just like that pop it on in there make sure it sits like you want to sit next peel off your 3m backing tape Screw can go in. If you want to, you can always add some silicone to these two guys. But it's a very tight fit, so I'm not worried about water getting inside this. Now it's complete. Remove your tape. And repeat this same step with the three or how many lights you have on the outside to go. I got three more. I got one on this side and I got two in the front. So repeat the same steps for those. Alright guys, so I got all this stuff installed. Uh, I got my two in the front, greens, two in the back. Um, everything's hooked up to the battery now as well. So I can just flip on my uh, that power switch, greens, front and back both work. Cockpit works too as well. Um, so that includes this install, guys. So this install is now complete. Um, like I said, I do want to go back and redo some of these wires, touch them up a little bit, make it a little neater in here. Once I install that eight hub um, deck power station on here. So, hope you enjoyed install, guys. Helped you a little bit. Um, one thing I've had to discuss, guys, when I did before I did put the uh, three M tape on there and seal it down, I did go back over that and clean it with some alcohol first. Um, let it dry. I left my kayak dirty though from the last trip so I can see where my wire line was at. She's supposed to go about an inch above that wire line. I didn't go, I went a little higher than that guys. Uh, I kind of want mine a little higher up because I like to have mine more elevated up because I use it more for seeing out at night when I'm fishing low um, light places like Fluid Bend where there's not a whole lot of docks around sometimes. Or from saltwater fishing guys there's not any dock lights around me. I can still see where I'm going a little better too. So mine's a little higher up than the, an inch above the wire line. But I wanted more of a visual aid for my eyes to see. Um, but that's why I did mine like that. But yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed the install. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you got any questions or anything else you want me to share, guys, feel free to comment it in the below. Um, of course, guys, always like, subscribe to me, please, too, as well, guys.